Hey everybody, it's me, Tom Angleberger, talking to the super folders today. Um, I asked them to send in questions and doodle requests. I'm going to answer their questions while I make their doodles into one big mega doodle. As you can see, uh, today's doodle is going to be over top of this beautiful painting by Corot. Uh, it's a nice painting, but I'm going to mess it all up today. And uh, also, just to let you know, this video is going to be a little wonky and you're going to see some weird parts of my computer that you normally don't see. This is actually Webmaster Sam's uh, workspace here for doing the website. And uh, so this is what it looks like actually when he goes in to, to do stuff. He goes in and he looks and um, he sees what you guys have been uh, writing in. And let's see, this person wrote in and they said, when is March... Uh, when is Maul's March Madness? Also, could you draw a Yoda holding an Origami Dwight? And actually, he also mentions he made a story about that on Origami Yoda Extended Universe website. So this is Origami Master 53. This is going to be a drawing of Yoda holding uh, an Origami Dwight. Okay? So here we go. This will be the first part of the Mega Doodle. And uh, let's see here. Yoda holding an origami Dwight. Okay, how about if we have Yoda down here in the corner? And uh, un excuse me while I zoom here. I know that can uh, be a little off-putting. What the heck just happened? Well, that was a disaster, wasn't it? What a way to get started. Let's try that again. That was a giant white blob. Let's see if we can get a... Oh, there we go. There's my little brush. It's kind of like the Pilot G2. Okay, so there's Origami Yoda. That part was easy. And he is supposed to be holding an Origami Dwight. Boy, this is going to be interesting to see this. Let's see here. Okay, it's going to have uh, some blobby points for the head. It's going to look kind of like Manga Dwight. And um, the body will have to have a overalls. Now let's see. I'll zoom in real close. See if I can see if I can get fit his uh, some of his face in there. Yeah, it looks a little bit like Dwight. I hope. And let let's see. Uh, let's have Dwight then holding an origami Yoda. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, let's just zoom back out on that real quick, and then we will color it in. Let's see here. Get some green for our. That's not green. <laughs> let's get some green for our Yoda. And uh, let's see what else is going to be green. Oh, yeah, the, the little. T oh, oh, brother. Okay. Like I said, there's going to be some wonky stuff today. I don't normally uh, have people watching while I'm messing around in uh, Photoshop. Of course, Photoshop is where I do almost all my work for the uh, graphic novels and stuff. Like, uh, I've been working on that Geronimo Stilton graphic novel. Let's see. Oh, by the way, while I'm here, I should answer uh, his question, which is, when is March Mall's, Mall's March Madness? I can't get it right. Mall's March Madness is a crazy thing I did last year, and it took up an incredible amount of time, but it was fun. I've been thinking about doing it again this year, even though the real-life uh, March Madness got canceled. I thought it might be fun to do it this year anyway, but I haven't been able to figure out exactly how to do it. Should I do it exactly the same as last year, or should we try something new? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll keep thinking about that. If you've got an idea, you're welcome to submit it to the, uh, in there, and I'll think, I'll think about it. I'll, uh, now I'm trying to fill that in there. Let's see here. Go back to that. Try to neaten that up a little bit. All right, there's our first part of the Mega Doodle. It is Origami Yoda holding Origami Dwight holding Origami Yoda. Let's get that back. What do you think? How's that look? All right, that was part number one. Thank you. Who was that again? That was a uh, Origami Master Fifty Three. Now, how does Webmaster Sam do this? Ugh, I, I get confused. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's next here from Fortune Wookie Twenty Two Fifty Five. He writes in, "Hi Tom and Sam. I always like it when people uh, write in." to Sam, too. He's a nice guy. Uh, have you ever been to Rockford, Illinois? This is from Fortune Wookie 2255. He wants to know, have you ever been to Rockford, Illinois? And for the Mega Doodle, he wants me to draw a rabbit. And he mentions he's never been able to draw a good one. Well, I haven't either. 
<laughs> Fortune will be 2255, but I will give it a shot for you. All right. Uh, I bet a rabbit would enjoy this little being part of this little scene here. So let's see what we can do for the rabbit. Let's see. Where are we going to draw a rabbit? How about, um, should we draw a giant rabbit back there behind the building or a little rabbit up here? Let's just draw a little rabbit up here. Yeah, we'll draw a sweet little rabbit if we can. Maybe that lady's looking at a nice uh, rabbit. So um, his actual question was, have I ever been to uh, Rockford, Illinois? I have been to Rockford, Illinois. I had a very nice time up in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, I ate at a restaurant that was owned by a rock star. Is that correct? If you've been to Rockford, Illinois, you may know. It seems like it was owned by um, one of the members of Cheap Trick. And I went in there, and uh, it wasn't really rock star food. It was pretty normal food. Now, um, what the heck happened with his leg bag? That doesn't look right at all. Let's try that again. Hey, there we go. That's a rabbit, right? Does that look like a rabbit? Now I just realized it's rather large compared to that lady. I imagine she's rather frightened. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. All right, let's color that in. Let's see, what else did I do in Rockford, Illinois? A lot of people don't know that Rockford, Illinois is the home of the uh, factory that makes the, what color should a rabbit be? How about a little blue bunny? Oh, blue bunny, all right, let me make that a little bigger. And, uh, it'll, oh, this is the home of the Red Heel Sock Factory, where they made red heel socks. Now, uh, socks with red heels are world famous because you can use them to make a sock monkey with. You, you cut them all up and you stuff them and you make a sock monkey with them. And um, my wife, Cece Bell, who I hope you've read some of her books, her first book ever was about sock monkey. And uh, in fact, about a sock monkey that we have. And uh, he is a really nice little fella. So we got invited to Rockford, Illinois because Cece had written a book about sock monkeys. All right, there we go. There's our rabbit. I hope that's suitable. Okay, let's see what we got next. What's our next question? Thank you, Fortune Wookie 2255. I enjoyed drawing that rabbit. Let's see what Superfolder Commander Tano has to say. Ah, an Ahsoka fan, just like me. All right, can you draw the ghost from Rebels? Thank you for adding the reference there. It's very helpful. I've never drawn the ghost from Rebels. Gee. That's kind of a blobby looking thing. I love I love Rebels and uh, I love the ghost and its pilot Hera. Commander Tana, thank you for this. I'm going to give it a try. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to do a very good job with this. Let's see here. We'll have it flying in the sky up here. So I, I noticed it had that bubble there and it's got that. And uh, then it was kind of a wedge. Oh, brother, this is going badly fast. And then it's got that detachable shuttle. They were always blasting off in that detachable shuttle. And uh, oh, this this is terrible. This is an this is terrible. Oh, brother. Oh, this is awful. I'm sorry to the person who wrote in. I'm sorry to uh, Hera. I'm sorry to <laughs> George Lucas. I'm sorry, everyone. That just didn't turn out very well. But I oh, and then I scribbled all over this change my layer here um i i don't know i don't know what to tell you this this is terrible but i don't know how i can do any better i'm really not very good at drawing spaceships does that oh brother uh you know you know my rule right you know what my rule is if you can't draw it label it <laughs> so i'm gonna label this one because man that's a terrible drawing i apologize to everybody involved oh man Okay, and people that don't know about Star Wars will look at this and be like, that's a really bad drawing of a ghost. <laughs> All right, Commander Tano, I'm sorry. I did uh, what I, oh, brother. Well, it is kind of what it looks like. I mean, it's not all my fault, hopefully. All right, let's see what's next here. Uh-oh, now I hit, oh, boy, now I've done it. Oh, okay. That's the super folder. Here we go. The super folder wants... Tom, can you draw R2-D2 flying out of Earth's orbit? Wow. Okay. And he, he didn't ask a question, so I guess his question is, can I draw that? And, oh, I can definitely draw it. It may not be good, but I can draw it. So uh, let's see here. Are we on the right layer? Let's get the layer right there. And uh, so here is, oh, of course I, 
should know how to draw R2D2. He goes, he's like a little, you draw a little house and then you just keep going. So all that was one line. Then you just add some legs. That, those things there. And then um, he is flying out of Earth's orbit. Goodbye, origami R2D2. It was nice knowing you. Okay, he's flying out of Earth's orbit, never to be seen again. Let's see here. We'll give him a little uh, blue. Uh, I always mess that up. Uh, we'll give him a little blue up here. And some blue lines down here. And then we'll make this. That doesn't look like a flame. Oh, brother. Okay. All right. Well, and a little gray. That's too gray. We'll just leave him white. All right, there goes R2-D2 flying out of Earth's orbit. Thank you very much to Andrew, the superfolder, who asked me to draw that. Now let's see what's next. I think I'll see if I can fit one more in there before I take a break. Let's see what we got here. Stooky Chewy J G G Stooky Chewy GJ wants to know, how can I make my writing better? And uh, wants me to draw Isabel from Animal Crossing with a pet squirrel. Oh, Isabel. Okay, Isabel from Animal Crossing with a pet squirrel. So I think let's replace, let's replace this lady down here with Isabel from Animal Crossing. Okay, and then we'll see if we can add a pet squirrel in there. So we go back to this layer and black ink. Yeah, let's see if we can draw Isabel. She's got... Um, uh, she's, I'm drawing it too big. I, I do need to keep it a little smaller than that. So she's got all this hair here, and she's got ears. Does that is that what Isabel looks like? No, it's, her ears are big floppy ears. Okay, let me let me try that again. She's got big floppy ears. Oh yeah, that's right. And then she's got more hair up here, and then she's just the sweetest little thing. Isn't she sweet? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> And she's got uh, charming little outfits that she wears. Like, I think she's got a little vest or something. And, um, yeah, she's got uh, paws, right? And maybe a tail. I don't know if she's got a tail. Does she have a tail? Let's flip back. Little tiny tail. Oh, she's so adorable. Okay. I've, I've, I've made her look disturbing and kind of frightening. She looks more like the bear from Five Guys at Freddy's. But... We have to soldier on, people. Here comes her pet squirrel. And uh, I think we all know what he likes to eat. I don't think I even need to mention that. <laughs> okay. All right. Isabel with her pet squirrel. Let's hope the color uh, saves everything because <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. I forgot to change the layer. Let me go back. This is how I work. Forgetting to change the layer over and over and over again. And uh, I'd probably have about eight extra books if I hadn't wasted so much of my time changing the layer back and forth. I never get it right. Where's my colors? Let's see. She's got a little green vest, I think. Was that it? Green vest. We'll just make up the rest of the details here. All right, because she changes outfits, right? Isn't that part of the game? You go around changing outfits. Okay, let's hope so. Okay, and then this is a little creamy in here. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Can you believe people pay me to draw pictures? I, I cannot believe it either. It constantly amazes me. And uh, here, oh, this is a very nice squirrel color. Okay, there we go. Isabel with her pet squirrel. There we go. The funny thing is, I'm doing this really fast, but even if I was taking my time, I really couldn't do much better than this. I'm really bad. I'm really terrible. Oh, brother. Okay, let's see. I bet we got time for one more here before we stop for now. Let's see what we got here. Stooky. Oh, that was from Chewy GG. Did I answer his question? What was his question? Oh, now I've messed everything up. Okay, here we go. How can I make my writing better? Oh, brother, that's quite a question. I should have been answering that instead of babbling. Dude, oh man, how can you make your writing better? Just be yourself. Don't try to impress people with your writing. So many people that I see with their writing, they're always trying to impress other people. Don't try to impress people. Try to entertain them. Give them a story. Don't try to use a bunch of fancy words. 
Whew, I can't stand those books with all them fancy business. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Does that improve your writing? I don't know. Just be yourself, man. Just write whatever comes into your head and be yourself. Have fun with it. All right, let's see. Superfolder or a Gandalf? Oh, he's one of our top superfolders. And here's his question. Who do you think would win, Kylo Ren or Rocket Raccoon? Well, that's obviously Rocket Raccoon. Um, as for my request, I think I'd like it if you draw the only Hut Jedi, Baldorian. This is a picture for reference enclosed. All right, thank you for including that reference. Baldorian, the famous... Oh, boy. I'm going to draw him back here. This is, looks a little bit like Jabba's Palace. Let's imagine that Baldorian has shown up at Jabba's Palace. Yeah, come on. Rocket Raccoon versus Kylo Ren? No problem. Rocket wins that in a heartbeat. Easy. Easy. Am I drawing yet? Where's my drawing? Here we go. Okay, we're going to draw... Uh, a hut? Well, if I draw the hut back there, I'm going to cover the, the building. Let's see here. There it goes. Uh, okay, now he looks a lot like Jabba the Hut. He's a little less nasty, and he does not stick his tongue out all the time. But if you ran into him, it would definitely be a surprise attack, <laughs> wouldn't it? I mean, you'd be surprised. Now, let's see. How does he fit his little robe on there? Does he have a... He wears a robe? Let's see here. Okay, uh, Jabba. Jabba does not like his long-lost cousin, Baldorian, the Jedi. Okay, let's change layers. I remember to change layers this time. You proud of me? Thank you. Uh, okay, here we go. You guys have heard me complain and <laughs> push the wrong button 30 times. I think uh, you're probably ready for me to take a little break. You're probably sick of hearing me uh, go to the wrong layer. <laughs> I think we'll uh, I think we'll take a little break after this. Was he green? How green was he? Well, let's call him green. I it really bothers me that in the movie Jabba isn't really green because I love drawing Jabba green. So we'll make Baldorian nice and green. Okay. By the way, it doesn't. I mean, I I, I appreciate the fact that Jabba isn't really green, but I like a nice green HUD. Uh, maybe a little darker green. Maybe we'll make him a little blobby. All right, folks, there we go. So, so far in our in our Mega Doodle, we've got um, the ghost <laughs> and uh, flying through the air. It's coming down to visit. It sees Baldorian waving his lightsaber, which scared off R2-D2, flew out of Earth's orbit. Over here, a bunny has come over to see Isabel and her pet squirrel. Meanwhile, Origami Yoda has an Origami Dwight, who has an Origami Yoda. All right, we're going to take a little break for now. I'll be back later, and we'll um, keep drawing. There's plenty of room left. We'll keep drawing. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you soon.